Hi, Hiram here. Ever since I've been using carbon felt in burners and things, like what I've been doing with this, uh, ever since I've started using this stuff, I've had people asking me, why don't you use cheaper fiberglass insulation? That's what I use in my burners and stuff. A uh, long time ago, that's what I did do. Uh, I did a bunch of experiments test stoves and stuff where I use this fiberglass insulation. Problem that comes in, and I looked through my collection, I must have got rid of most of them. This was one that I used to use insulation in. It's just a Nivea can. Hasn't been opened in so long, it won't open. I just had insulation stuffed in there and then the lid with a hole put on it. But over time, even though it's fiberglass and it doesn't burn, it does melt and I would get a glaze over the fiberglass and then it didn't work so hot anymore so in this case I put a roll of carbon felt in there this is one that I did made out of a lifesaver can where I stuffed the inside with fiberglass uh, the insulation and I put a metal screen on the top of it I wish you could see this but uh, <clears throat> underneath the metal screen it's pretty much sealed off where the the flame just kind of melted the fiberglass didn't burn it but it melted it down and just plugged it all up so now this doesn't work so hot so that when I found carbon felt this stuff you just keep using it and using it and nothing happens uh, <clears throat> one of the things I try to find out what the melting point of fiberglass is in one engineering book that I have, it says that the high point temperature for fiberglass, in this book anyway, uh, the high temperature range is 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or that would be about 540 degrees Celsius. You, think, no, you, you would think that's pretty high, but if you look at guys or people in, in the craft field that make uh, these little glass animals and stuff with glass rods, all they use is a little carp or a little alcohol stove to soften up that stuff so that they can bend it in different shapes. From what I've been able to find out, the temperatures of alcohol burners is anywhere between, uh, what was it, 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit to about 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit or about 600 to 900 degrees centigrade. So even at that, that would make enough temperature to melt fiberglass and make it seal off. Um, I started with the carbon felt. The first time I used that, well, let me back up. Uh, if you're using it in a stove where you never let it run out, you possibly won't melt it down. But all of my tests was to see how long the alcohol, how long the stove would burn on so much alcohol, like an ounce or something. So I would let it run out. When you let the stove burn down to that point, uh, you don't have the alcohol vapors keeping it somewhat cooler, so it would melt the al melt the fiberglass. So my case might be a little different. Maybe if you go around, if you use fiberglass and you never let it burn out, maybe this would work. But I started with carbon felt using this stuff that you can find at any Home Depot. It's a uh, flame protector for if you're doing if you're soldering pipes and stuff up in the rafters in your basement and whatnot you may be soldering this with the propane torch but you don't want to set the wood on fire so these were sheets what was this nine inches by 12 inches or 23 centimeters by 30 centimeters it was a little rectangular shaped uh, panel that you could nail on the wall and then do behind whatever you're soldering and this would protect the wood well, I went through a bunch of these at like $16 each. That's what the last one cost. I don't know what they cost now. But then on somebody's video, I forget who, I found out about these things. Tillman medium duty welding blankets. These are this is a three foot by three foot piece and it cost me twenty two ninety five. I'll give you a link down below of where I buy them from. You've seen videos from a lot of people talking about these. 
This, it says it's non-flammable, non-melting, and it has a working temperature of 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in, in centigrade. I'll have to put it down below. So with all of the stuff that I've been using and burning, and I burn it down until it goes out, this stuff has never melted. Not once yet. Five, six, ten tests, and it's still in the same shape as it was to begin with. The other thing is, too, carbon felt is easier and nicer to work with in your hands. You don't want to handle fiberglass insulation a whole lot. You can end up getting glass pieces in your fingers, and, you know, goes bad from there. So that's why I use more expensive carbon felt versus cheap fiberglass insulation. Again, I'll leave you a link down below of where I buy these. Uh, it's $22.95 the last time I bought it, but you had to buy something else because anything over $25, I think it was, you got free shipping. So you just have to check that out, but I'll leave you a link below. I hope this helps. Uh, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, and helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.